This is when you really have to pay attention to it. It's 346.78. When you look across the board, none of these guys have had really any major international experience to speak of. I'm talking World Championships Olympics. The only one is Mitch Dorigo down there in lane eight. He's the only one. Not one person. Not one person returns to the finals from the 2016 trials. And Smith, who's in lane four, who will be the one to watch in this race. His personal best is 347.71. So almost a full second behind that qualifying time set by the governing body of the sport, FINA. And in lane four, he has the lead at this point by about two-thirds of a second. As Zane Grothy was one who was watching in this race, he's the only American to have slumped that minimum time to qualify for the Olympics, doing it within this couple-year cycle. But he finished 11th this morning in the prelims. That was one of the stunner of the morning prelims. Yeah, it didn't even final. I mean, it, it, was a, it was certainly one of the shockers this morning to start these trials off. And back to Smith, where he looks like a completely different swimmer than he did in the prelims. Very smooth. And let's track him down a little bit. When you talk about this race, he went 4.06.2 at the NCAAs. Now, what does that mean? That's 500 yards. That's 437 meters. So this is sort of a, I, I've said the sweet spot for him. This is a perfect race for him. He's going to be great in 200, maybe even the 800. But boy, this is a perfect race for him. My point in 4.06.2, that converts to 340 points. How often does that conversion hold up? Yeah. OK, Sometimes. so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but even if he falls off of that three or four seconds, he's on his Good way chance. to Tokyo. Right. And look at him. I mean, just look at him right now. Look. You have to take his halfway point this morning. Let, let, let's look at that because it's it's important. 152.7 at the halfway point this morning. I said he needed to be 151 high. Yeah, he's a second and a half faster at 150.3. Oh, boy, he's looking good right now. Not only is he on pace to make it to the Olympics, right now he's under American record pace and under world record pace. That's a fast first 200 knowing he's got to make the time. Can he sustain it? And, and I thought, Mike, if maybe two guys could do it, I thought they'd have to hitch a ride with him, meaning kind of getting up there and riding there his weight. But he's broken contact, and nobody can even do that. You can't even draft off of him. That's far ahead he is. In fact, everybody's eating his weight right now. He is just flying out there. And if he can just maintain this integrity of that great stroke, good streamline off the wall, he's better than anybody else here, obviously, off the turns as well. Watch this turn right here, how far he goes versus everybody else. Above him, Chris Weiser in lane three is second. Three, sorry, Mike. He's right on American record pace still, and that American record 342.7. So he is well on his way to getting under 346.7. Larson Jensen set that in Beijing in 2008. Again, the time to remember 346.78. Look at the line here for second. I mean, that's a great race for second. I just don't think they're going to get the time. That's the problem. There he goes now. Let's watch it. Let's watch him earn his way to Tokyo. Looks fail in lane two, making a little bit of a push here. But again, final 15 meters, needing to break 346.78. Not just win here in Smith. A race to the wall. Will he get there? He does in 344.86 by nearly three seconds, a personal best under pressure. And Kieran Smith with the victory in the men's 400 meter free. And a time good enough to get to Tokyo. Twenty one years old. I talked to his coach Greg Troy a while ago and he said I think this Guy is even better in long course meters than he is in yards. Well, he sure proved it there. Getting a hug from so many teammates. Trey Freeman is, Bobby Fink, earlier in the 400. I am Mitch Dorigo. I mean, you've got a lot of guys. Anthony Nesty. 
and I saw the 200 turn, and I just knew he had it. I talked about Greg Troy. Greg Troy coaches a lot of great swimmers. It's actually, obviously, Anthony Nesty, that amazing coach at the University of Florida. 350 turn. This, this is where it's really interesting. Watch what he does. Not off the turn. I mean, into the turn. But watch how far he comes off. That's 10 meters off the wall. That means he's got a lot of gas. Great job, go Gators! Tied Great for the ninth job. fastest Here time in the world this year. And very strong, knowing he had to get that time as well. Not just the pressure of winning in trials. But what about Jake Mitchell, the freshman from the University of Michigan? A very strong last 50 to catch Ross Dance and finish second. But it's Kieran Smith in the proper time as designated by the governing body and he has earned his spot on the u.s olympic team in tokyo bound and we'll wait to see with jake mitchell obviously his time was above that 346 78 so less likely that his second place would be good enough to get it and a big hug from teammate caleb dressel who is coached by greg troy michelle well kieran there were numbers 346.78, you had to beat that time in order to qualify. How much was that weighing on you as you swam tonight? I knew there was a little pressure to do that, considering uh, no Americans have made it thus so far this year. Um, I was confident with myself after a pretty relaxed morning swim, and I really just wanted to, being a 200 guy, I wanted to pounce on the first 200 and stay out there. Well, you did it, and you're headed to your first Olympic Games. What does that sound like that to you? That sounds incredible. I can't, ima I can't imagine that, that five years ago when I was here.